Hi everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to draw angle and parallel flange channel effectively. So first thing I'm going to do is load in um, an angle line just so you can see the uh, problem. So we go to load family, into the structural folder, in framing, and then into the steel folder. And in here we should actually find a family called L angle. So let's go ahead and locate that. There we go. And we'll hit open there. So what you're now seeing is the type catalog that's been generated from this. Now, just to show the issue, I'm just going to load up uh, this section here. Okay, that's now loaded in. Uh, before I actually do this, I'm going to draw a reference plane so you can actually see my pick line. And then we'll go to beam. Here's the L angle. And if I actually uh, draw a section of the angle in, straight away you can actually see that it's not actually been drawn on my insertion point. So Let's have a look at the reason why that is. So if I select the angle line here and I edit the family, okay, here's the family now open. And what I'm going to do is just pick the uh, final level of detail here. And what you'll actually find is if I go and edit the sweep on this, you'll see that it's actually using a, a profile. So we'll go ahead and find the profile in the browser here. And I'm going to go and edit that. Now, in here, I'm going to switch on the dimensions and reference planes. We can clearly see here that we have an X value and a Y value. And the X and the Y values are actually holding the um, the centroid um, value of that section. So what we're really going to need to do is actually edit that because obviously the X and Y is going to be different for each uh, angle line section. Now. To actually edit this, what I'm actually going to do is go into Windows Explorer and actually open up um, one of these text files in Microsoft Excel. So what we'll do here is we'll just run up Excel like this and we'll go ahead and actually open up a text file. Now if you've got a standard installation what you'll find is um, the libraries are held in program data, Autodesk, uh, Revit Structure 2012, Libraries, UK structural framing and then steel. Now in here what we have to do is of course tell Excel to see all files and you'll see in here that we have the RFA file which is a Revit family file and adjacent to that we also have the text file with exactly the same name. So here's L angle text and I'm going to basically open this up. Now as soon as I do this you'll see that it invokes the, um, the text import wizard here and basically what we're going to do is uh, put in this information but we want to tell it here that it's going to be comma delimited. So you can see now that Excel is going to neatly put all of that into the respective columns. So we'll go ahead here and actually uh, run with that. And here are the columns. So in here these are the ones I want to edit. I want to edit the X and the Y lengths. So I'm going to um, basically delete all of this information at the moment. So We'll select all of this data down through here. We'll just hit delete there. Okay, so in here, what we're going to do is actually add in a formula. So it's going to be um, equals sum, and we're going to have D2 divided by 2. Okay, you can now see that's calculated that out there. So into the Y field here, this is now going to be um, E2. So in here, equals sum E2 divided by 2. Right, so what we can do in Excel then is literally just drag the formulae down to here. And you can now see it's calculated all of those centroid positions or center positions. They're not centroids anymore, of course. This is actually the section center, which is what we want for drafting. And we'll do the same for the Y there. So that's that information now done. So what we now need to do is actually now save that back as a comma delimited file. So we'll go to Save As, Other Formats. Uh, we'll make sure here that we're actually saving this out as a CSV file. And in here, what I'm going to do is call this L-Angles. And we'll hit Save. Okay, so that's now saved. So if we now uh, we'll just close down Excel in there. Now what I'm going to do here is go back into Windows Explorer and we'll go and browse to that folder. 
So again, it's program data, Autodesk, uh, Revit Structure 2012, Libraries, UK, and then we'll go into Structural, and then Framing, and then Steel. So in here, you can now see that we have that uh, CSV file. Now what I want to do here is I don't want to actually destroy my original family file. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste it. Yep. So you now see I've got a copy of that in there. And what I'm going to do is just get rid of the S on the end so it just says L angle. Okay. And what we'll do here is we'll rename this one to L angle dot txt. Okay, and that's now changed that. So you can see that we have an exact match between the RFA and the text file. So let's just minimise that now, and we'll actually now load in that data. So we go to Home, Beam, Load Family, Structural, Framing, Steel. Okay, and in here we should now find I've got L angle in there. Um, but you'll see now we've got two, so this is the one that I've just edited. There's my type catalog, so let's just take a few sections at random here. So we'll take that one, um, and we'll also take this one here. Okay, and we'll load that in. So let's now go for the uh, slightly deeper section here, the 200. Draw that down the centre line there. You can now see that it is actually drawn around centre. Okay, and we'll do the same for the smaller section in there. And again, you can see that is now drawn about the centre point. Now, what's quite good with that, of course, then, is when you change your lateral justification to side 1 or side 2, you can see it starts to behave a lot nicer. Yep. Okay, um, the other thing, of course, is if you want to change the, um, the draw direction, so you want the face of the angle to be on the other side, you, when you flip it here, you can see that it makes that nice and easy. Let's just change the scale here so you can see that a bit better. So we zoom in there, and again, we'll use the, the flip angle in there yep, to reverse the section, yep, nice and easy. Okay, hope that's been useful.